um, using aluminum foil, a little aluminum foil ball, um, and some different colors of paint that I thought would look really cool as a galaxy. So um, you will need, um, like I have a black and then I have a navy, so you will need a darker color. Um, and then I have some lighter colors that um, will also add to the galaxy as well. And I think they're all gorgeous little pastel colors. Um, and you will need white too, to make the stars. So, now I've put down um, little scrap paper so I don't get paint all over my desk. Um, you'll want to do something similar because it will go everywhere. It's going to be um, pretty heavily painted. So um, you want to make sure you have stuff like a newspaper or something that will uh, protect the area you're painting on. Or if you don't care and you just think it makes desk look pretty to paint on it, then go ahead, do that. It's your own thing. All right, so um, you can see I, I did a practice one first. That's why it's a little, a little wet. But first I'm gonna start off with um, the black color. So I'm gonna put it around the edges, kind of where I want the, um, the dark part of the galaxy to be. This is uh, an older paint, so it's um, it clogs a little bit, but that's fine. So just putting it where I like it to be. Oh, that's a big glob. Well, that's fine. <laughs> it's not a big deal. You can always add more paint to fix anything, really. going until you find how much you want. I just keep shaking it. That'll, <laughs> I know there's an obstruction there, but I'm just, just not going to deal with it right now. <laughs> okay. Next, um, I'm going to go for the Navy color. Um, cause I want it to bleed into the black. It'll look more night sky ish. I'm adding a bit more of the Navy. You can put it any way you want. You can put dots, Globs, lines. I like lines because it looks really cool. Uh, just around. Yeah, we'll put a little more over here. Oh, that's a lot more. That's fine. Not a big deal. Okay, so I wanted um, I wanted to make a uh, blue and purple um, galaxy. Maybe some pink. We'll see. We'll see if we're feeling a little crazy. We might do that. <laughs> um, I got this really pretty light blue I'm gonna put again you want your colors to like the blue is going into the blue it's not going like straight into the purple and then the lighter blue is now gonna go into the purple there we go okay now yeah let's do pink this will do the really really light pink I don't think I've used this one before well hmm yeah, we'll use that one. I was thinking about using the Diva Pink, but I like Candy Pink. So we'll do that. Okay, so now, um, since I already have some uh, stuff on here, um, I'm just going to use the other side. <laughs> I think it'll be easier. But you do want a clean piece of aluminum foil in a ball. I'm about this size. You can make it smaller if you want. Um, and then you just... You just go. So I'm going to start in the middle, just dabbing away. You can go in circles. You can go any way you want. Now I'm trying to mix it. So like moving it a little bit back and forth like that will mix it easier. Just like that. And then go in a little bit to help it mix some more. Try to cover all your white spots. So now I'm going outer again, just trying to cover up all the white spots I can.
I think I've got most all of the white covered that I wanted to. Um, so I do want the pink to come out a little bit more. Um, like I said, this is going to be a pretty a pretty heavy canvas um, or whatever you choose to paint on. Um, I'm using it's just paper that uh, you can buy at Walmart, and it's um, it's good for acrylics. I'm just covering up some more of the white that I missed before. Okay, and now put some more of that beautiful candy pink on there. Um, then I think I'll switch sides just because I've got a lot of dark colors on here and that won't really look too good coming right in the middle of my beautiful galaxy. So I'm going to switch sides. Um, I don't really mind getting paint on my hands. I like it. I think it looks really cool. Um, so I don't really care to touch it. If you care to touch it, you might just want to grab a new piece of aluminum foil, but it's not really too big of a deal to me. So I'm just going to get right in there again, moving that pink around, making sure it shows up good. Moving it to the outer ring a little bit, making it mix really, really nice. And it's fine if it's not like on center because galaxies are not on center. <laughs> kind of just show up wherever they want. <laughs> um, so I'm like, I'm letting it bleed out a little bit more. Just do that. There we go. It's blending really nicely. Um, it's surprising how well of a, a blender aluminum foil is. Um, normally I'd be using a, uh, a, a painting sponge, but um, this works uh, pretty good, honestly. And uh, I did I get a little bit of the dark and the um, lighter mixed together, but I think that just looks really cool. Um, I am going to add more blue on this side. so. Shake it up a little bit. Get my Caribbean blue or Caribbean. Caribbean or Car Caribbean? No one really knows. <laughs> no, I'm sure there's a right way. Okay. I want the blue to show up a little bit more, so I moved it over just a touch on the aluminum ball. That looks really cool. But yeah, um, like I was saying, this is not the traditional way I would normally um, do a galaxy painting, but I honestly really like it. It's a um, little, little tie-dye looking. Um, so the pink is a little bit overpowering, so I'm going to add more purple. Again, like I said, this is a very paint-heavy canvas, so it's going to take you a good while for this to dry. Um, but when it does, it is going to look so cool. So I'm using a clean side again, um, just for mixing purposes there we go because i like the pink but i don't want i don't want too much of it i don't want it to overpower i just want to show up just a touch letting the purple bleed out a little bit and then i'm going to go back to um the darker side that i had before and Start to blend that together a little bit. I'm gonna do that down here too. Just make it look a little bit more blended in. I want a little bit more of the darker color to come out, so I'm gonna move it in towards the galaxy a bit um okay so that is galaxy part done um this is what happens to your hands when you paint kids that's that's just what's gonna happen <laughs> so i'm just gonna wipe my fingers off on here a little bit Ooh, that looks really cool all right so we've got um the first part of our I guess two part galaxy you would say done um so now so there's a bunch of different ways you could put stars on here um there's one way with a paintbrush it's really messy you're gonna get paint everywhere um but i'm gonna show you how to do that um so 
basically, I'm just gonna put a quick, there we go, a little glob of the white paint. Um, just a little bit, just the top of the brush dipped in it. Um, and your hands are gonna get messy. That's just, that's just the way it is. So you kind of flick the paint on there a little bit. You just brush your finger very gently across. Um, it's it's gonna get paint on it. <laughs> but this is, I think, the most efficient way to get stars on there. Um, and it looks, it looks really cool. It looks, um, I guess, more natural than the other way I'm gonna show you too. Um, and it's an easy way to just get a bunch of stars on there. Um, the other way I'm gonna show you is with um, something with like a fine point. So I have a pencil here um, and this, this would take a good while, um, but I'm going to dip a little bit of the pencil, just like the top of it into the paint and put it up, put it up. Oh, see it already. Yeah, see, so this is a paint heavy canvas. It's gonna grab paint off the canvas. So I'll just, I'll just have to keep going back and forth every time I wanna put a star on there. Um, this way is a bit, nicer you can control where your stars go it's um a lot less messy and if you like um, bigger stars this is the definitely the way for you I get a few out of it well eh. um I'm gonna try to make a shooting star let's see how well that works so I'm getting a lot of the paint on here and glob and there we go just a gentle whoosh <laughs> that's that's the um, technical term um, let's see, let's try to do another one. So I'm gathering a bit of paint on the end of the pencil and I'm letting it rest and just very gently just drag it along. There we go. Very nice um, star. And let's put one more, I think right here will look really nice. So again, gently and drag. And there you have it. That is your galaxy painting. Um, you want to let it dry, I would say a good many hours. Um, maybe let it sit overnight. Um, keep your animals away from it because if you get a, a cat paw on it, it's going to go all over the place. Um, yeah, that is how you make a, a galaxy painting with a little aluminum foil. So there we go. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, and have a uh, have a good day and good luck on making your very own galaxy painting. Bye!